Hi everybody, it's Claire with another Art Journal page sharing with you the very exciting latest release from Dina Wakeley um, for October. So this is just a sample of some of the products that have been released and I'm playing in my craft journal and I'm starting off with some turquoise paint across the middle of the page. Then I'm using this stencil from the last release in September which is called Lattice and I'm using a bit of lime through the lattice stencil, just applying it with a, a makeup sponge. So then I'm using this brand new stencil from Dina Wakeley. This is called uh, Fence and I'm using this with some uh, peacock paint. So I'm going for a kind of analogous colour scheme. Um, using blues and greens and blues that have got a greeny tinge to them so it kind of works really nicely together so I love that stencil the great thing about it you can spread the stenciling out you can um, just move it slightly and overlap it really easily so then I'm using one of these new silhouettes which is called uh, pro the profiles set and I'm just adding some black gesso onto this one from that set and then once it's dry it's just going to be stuck onto the right hand side of the page then I'm just selecting some of the botanical leaf uh, doodles from the church uh, doodles pack of collage paper which is also the new release and I'm just going to be adding a few of those onto the page just around the edges really to kind of frame the page. I do um, audition things and sort of see where they're going to look best but sometimes it is best just to not overthink it and just pop the things down um, wherever you initially feel that they are going to look best. The great thing about these doodles there are extra leaves on here so you notice that I am adding some extra leaves on and um, you can easily do that with this little set that's just come out. So I'm just um, using these to um, frame the page a little bit and add a bit of detail onto the background. You can have so much fun cutting out the little elements of these um, collage papers and just creating your own um, sort of page really. So then I'm using um, Marine and I'm just painting some stripes onto the page. These are going to be used for doing some journaling onto. So I'm going for quite a rough sketchy look with the paint, not worrying about keeping the lines particularly neat. This is one of Dina Wakeley's brushes that I'm using. It's um, the smallest one I think that you can get, um, but it's really good. So then I'm using um, from the Make Things Happen set, the chevron stamps, and I'm just stamping a few of those around the edge of the page, kind of pointing inwards and they are just, I don't know, just adding more interest to the background. So then using this really lovely turquoise Posca pen, I'm just adding some dots and circles onto the page, just some of my mark making. And then I'm adding my words. So I started off writing the words using the Posca pen and at the time when I did it, I didn't like it written in the blue uh, turquoise colour, but actually now I think it does look all right. Um, so I kind of wish I'd left it alone. <laughs> then I decided I would try writing over it in uh, white. It just goes to show that sometimes you can mess about too much. Um, and then I'm just crediting the quote there and I'm just doing a bit of journaling down at the bottom in some Semic writing so it's not really meant to be read but I know what it says and then I decided I would use one of the stamps on the bottom of the chipboard shape um, just with some white ink and I did a little bit of writing on there too and there we go now you also notice that I did write over the writing again in black see couldn't leave it alone so anyway there's the finished page i hope you've enjoyed watching this video seeing what i did with some of these new release products and i'll see you again for some more videos like this thanks for watching